Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another hair dye review, if you will. So as of right now, I have no idea how this review is going to go. I'll be trying out a brand new dye today, which is the Manic Panic Raven dye, which is Manic Panic's black dye. In the process of trying out a bunch of different hair dyes for my channel, I have found Manic Panic again. I always see this like in stores or online. And I think about like seeing this all over the place when I was in high school and how it's not generally known to be like this really high end dye. But I think that maintaining black hair is super easy, at least for somebody like me who has naturally dark brown hair to begin with. Um, I really don't care if my hair cannot be lightened again just because I don't plan on lightening my hair again. I have naturally dark features. I can just see myself wearing dark hair the whole time and if I want to switch it up there's always wigs. So I really love trying out new dyes and seeing how they work with my hair. Also so that I can help other people who might be interested in trying the dye. But if you don't want to try it on yourself, I will be the test dummy and try it out for you. I have a couple videos on my channel already about hair dye, so I'll link them all together in a playlist and put them down below. I talked about some of the best and the worst black hair dyes I've used, and since it was such a hit that is my number one video on my channel, I thought I would continue making review videos like that and let you know what dyes are worth trying or might be complete shit and you can just skip out on. So I really have been dying to do my hair again. If you had seen my previous hair dyeing video, I was using a teal hair dye, which is something really unique. I don't usually do any type of color, but I thought that that would be really nice to help pull a blue black undertone so that it would make my hair appear even more dark. What ended up happening is totally not that. So since I did have some regrowth in my roots from the previous time I had dyed it, some time has gone by and my hair has grown a little bit, um, my natural hair was out and I was putting the dye right on top of my natural hair. So rather than darken it, the developer that I used with the dye actually brightened my hair a little bit. So my roots appeared even lighter and you might even see it in the end of the video that I did where it looks like it really didn't do too much or there was like a little bit of a space and I wasn't sure if that was just me not being very good at dyeing my hair or if it was the product. And after some time and seeing it in the sun, I realized it was the product. It basically bleached my roots a little bit and made them look like this weird browny green tone. So I am ready to get rid of that, which is why I wanted to try the Manic Panic Raven. Definitely wanted to be sure to use just a regular black this time, no undertones or anything, because I have to fix these roots. And my hair is a mess right now, which is why I'm dyeing it, but I'm not sure if you can see how brown, oh yeah, you could definitely see. Look at how brown my roots are. And they almost aren't even just like a normal brown. Like I swear in the light, in the sunlight, they have like this weird green undertone to them from using the teal. With that being said, I am going to try the Minic Panic Raven hair dye. And as you can see on the top here, we have our little bunny saying that it is cruelty free and it also is vegan. I am trying to only show products on my channel that are cruelty free just because I'm vegetarian and I just would like to use products that don't sell in a country that tests on animals in order to have them be able to be sold to people. So I just really want to highlight brands like Manic Panic who are cruelty free. And this also is a bonus because it's vegan as well. So if that's something that you are wary of, this would be maybe a good option for you just to start with. Who knows if it performs, we'll see. But baseline, really good to see that it is a brand that is cruelty free and vegan. It is so brown, almost like bleached how light it is. And maybe that is my natural hair color, but I never remembered it being that like little bit of green. So you can see how long it's been now since my hair's actually been black. So that is what my hair looks like. Sorry, it's a little bit of a hot mess, but you can definitely see the regrowth and you can probably understand why I've been dying to get it black again. So I'm just going to section this out and apply it. I'm not going to keep recording partially because my battery is going to die. It's flashing on my camera and also because it's a little boring to see. So I will just come back once it's all on my hair, check in how it applied because like I said, I only have the one tub here. I just sectioned out my hair and I have a little alfalfa action going on right now, but I'm just going to apply it all over my hair, primarily on the roots, just because this is where I need it the most. 
and then just bring it down to the end. So I'm pretty sure one will be enough, um, but I'll update you once it's all on. Oh my God. I always do this. I turn the light and it changes colors. There we go. So my hair is completely covered now. I look crazy. It looks like I'm wearing like a swimming cap on my head, but it is all on. I wasn't too careful around my hairline because I don't know, we'll see what happens if it's gonna stain my skin. Um, usually it's okay, but I really don't care. I can't be bothered to try to take it off. So I do have it all covered. It does look to have a bluish undertone. On my uh, gloves that I was wearing, it looked a little bit more purple, but on my hair, it definitely looks more blue. It looks so crazy too, because I got it literally everywhere and I don't care to wipe it off for the purpose of this video. So yes, I did get it everywhere, but it's looking really promising because it's super black and I love it. <laughs> I think it was super easy to apply. I just scooped it out with my hand and applied it like that. I don't do anything too fancy with a bowl or anything like that. I used to go that route and honestly, I just find that using my hands is so much easier and it's not really necessary for me to use a bowl, especially when I'm just doing it on myself. So I just used my hands. I found it really easy. Um, one of the tubs was definitely the perfect amount, I would say for me, it covered my hair really well. I was a little bit more sparing in the beginning just because I wanted to make sure it would be enough. Um, but once I knew I would have enough for my whole head, I went back and I was trying to cover it up a little bit more. So definitely think that one tub is enough, at least if you have similar um, length hair as me. So I'm just going to leave this on now for about 30 minutes. That's what it says on the packaging to leave it for 30 minutes. Then it says to rinse it out with some cold water um, until all of the dye has come out of your hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I will see you all once it's washed out. So I just finished washing the dye out of my hair and this is what it looks like. I will say just first impressions of actually getting it out of my hair was like double thumbs down. I'm gonna show you guys the state of my hands right now. I do have some staining still on this part of my hand. Um, that's basically the majority of where it is. Also like on my cuticles, I have some and this is just from washing it out. I used gloves when I was doing it. Oh my God, my thumbs are like extra bad. You can see, can you see how dyed they are? Ugh. So I did use gloves to apply it to my hair. This is just from literally rinsing it out, just from going like this and touching my hair and trying to wring it all out. I did get a bunch of transfer onto my hands and it covered just about every surface in my shower, even though I turned the water pressure down. Did not matter, it still went everywhere. Um, I did just wash my shower literally today um, and I noticed that if you clean your shower beforehand, you won't get as much staining on your tub. I have a stand-up shower that I was just in and they're like tiles, like kind of like a subway tile type of material. And I do believe if I didn't clean it, they probably would be a little stained, but I just cleaned it today, literally like, like squeaky clean. This dye is very, very similar to my experience using Arctic Fox Transylvania. It was the same deal. You don't have to mix it with anything. You just apply it straight from the container onto your hair. It doesn't really matter how long you leave it on because it doesn't have a developer in it. So it's not going to damage your hair if you leave it on or like tar it, if that makes sense, which is why semi-permanent hair color is a lot safer for your hair. And which is why a lot of people have recommended me to use semi-permanent instead. But the con to that is that both of them tend to stain a lot, stain my hands, stain the tub usually. Um, and it did stain, I'm gonna grab my little hair towel I used because it stained my hair towel a ton. My hair towel was pink and this is what it looked like afterwards. A bunch of staining all over it just from drying my hair with this dye. And I did rinse it out basically as good as I possibly could. Um, until there really wasn't that much blue, like black coming down from it. There still was a little bit, but like I was in the bathtub washing my hair out for like 20 minutes. So I don't know how much else I could have done. I did do like lukewarm water. I cannot do cold water when I'm washing stuff out of my hair. I just literally can't. So maybe it's because of that. It never really went completely clean. Um, and that's probably why it stayed a little bit, but I think it's worth mentioning. I don't ever have problems with staining when it comes to permanent hair color. It's only been when I've used semi-permanent hair color, specifically Arctic Fox and now Manic Panic. 
and I don't understand how it gets everywhere like literally I was just cleaning my ears because I hate when there's water in my ears and that always happens when I wash my hair for some reason it's just kind of the way the water comes down and around your ears so I always just use a q-tip mostly to just absorb any water that's gotten into my ears and they were staying black when I took them out of my ears so definitely some of the water when I was washing my hair out got into my ears and stained in there too because it literally was coming off on the q-tip so not a huge fan of that not a fan of this I feel like having stains on me brings me back to being in like middle school and high school when I didn't know better I didn't really know how to do my hair so I feel like super I don't know inexperienced right now even though I am like I totally am unexperienced when it comes to hair it just makes me feel like really juvenile to have stains all over me and that does not happen when i use permanent hair color overall washing it out was not fun it makes sense this is not like a professional hair dye this is something that a lot of young people use especially if you're trying to take advantage of the vibrant colors before i make any final comments about the way my hair looks i'm going to dry it quick and show you what it looks like once it's not wet and this is the final look i will do a quick little close-up for you all to see the color usually i do straighten my hair after i blow dry it especially the first time because my hair gets super floofy but the time really got away from me tonight and it's like almost bedtime so i just thought i would wake up tomorrow and straighten my hair then because i do have to work tomorrow but i'm actually super impressed with the color it looks super rich and it definitely went over if you can see well you can't see because it matches perfectly now it definitely went over those little pieces that I had from the last time I dyed it and they were like still really brown and almost green it went over that completely and covered those so I'm super grateful for that I think it looks really nice I am going to sleep with a towel or something over my pillow just in case there is some dye and like transfer from it onto my sheets and I do still have that purple even on my thumb here I do have a lot of dye still but I'm sure it'll come off when I'm scrubbing my hands I'm interested to see how this lasts because I will say I'm super impressed with the color. So if it lasts a decent amount of time, I keep saying maybe I would use it again. I feel like when I'm actually in the process of dyeing it, it was so annoying having it go everywhere and be on everything and in everything. But I really like this finished result. I think it looks super nice and dark and this is exactly how I want my hair to look. I like that it's a little bit of a cool tone as well because I feel like that is making it look even darker than if it was a warm or like a neutral undertone. I think the cool tone definitely is what makes it look the most dark. So I will put updates on how this ends up fading in the description box once I wear it a little bit longer. I should probably write these maybe on a scale of like one to five, just to give you an idea of where I rank all of these. As of right now, I probably would give this a two and a half out of 10, because while I think that the color is really on point right now, I don't like the process of actually dyeing it, and I'm interested to see how long it's actually going to last, especially on my little pieces up here that weren't permanently dyed before, because the rest of my hair did have permanent color in it, um, but the little regrowth here didn't. So interested to see how that will fade. I would say this is a good hair dye if you are somebody who likes to play around with your hair color and you are not committed to black because I have heard from a bunch of different sources, literally all over on TikTok, uh, there'll be hairstylists talking about clients who come in with box dyed black hair who want to go blonde and it's just like not feasible. It's really hard to lift box dyed black because it's not the best quality. It is just stuff that you could get at the drugstore by yourself. You don't need to be a professional to use it. So it makes sense why there's such a strong permanency when it comes to black hair dye. You could even see in the beginning clips before I had applied this dye that my black dye from the last permanent hair dye I did was still really strong in my hair. Um, it didn't go anywhere basically at all so it's super permanent if you're somebody who doesn't want that permanency if you want to try black for a little bit see how it is you want the ability to lighten your hair in the future if you decide to i think that semi-permanent hair color could be really amazing and you might really like this one um as far as color goes i feel like i do like this one better than arctic fox the arctic fox had a green undertone which is really weird i didn't like the green that much but this raven one is more of a blue purple 
I personally just find that a little bit more appealing. I don't know, I just have that mentality. If you're somebody who loves green though, maybe you'll love Transylvania. But as far as semi-permanent hair colors go, I think it's really good if you wanna temporarily have colors, if you like trying things out but you don't wanna be committed to black forever basically. So that is it for today's video. I will put any updates in the description box if I end up really loving it or if there's anything else I wanted to say about this dye as I wear it and see how it fades. But that is it for today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.